everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a project share. Um, Tina Epp um, here on YouTube reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a swap and we agreed to do a Halloween swap. So we didn't specify any sort of project, um, just she wanted to keep it a surprise. So I was totally okay with that. And so I decided to make a loaded bag and I'm sorry she of course wants to join here it is and I do apologize I am gonna try to get this all into frame but my um, camera holder can only go so high and I think this is as high as it's going to go so the whole thing won't fit into frame so I'm really really sorry about that but this is the loaded bag that I have created for her and as you can see I loaded it up <laughs> so um, I will pull everything out and then talk about the bag itself at the end so first I found these really cute straws at Michael's and so I included one of those um, here is one of those cupcake toppers that I got at Walmart here is one of those goats from Matt Garland that I hauled. And then here I have three bags. Now, the pocket in the front is not very deep. It's quite shallow, so I can only include um, small bags. So I just included these sequin mixes. Um, in the front pocket here, I have this paper clip or clothespin pick, clothespin clip <laughs> that I got from Dollarama. I actually included the eyes because it didn't have eyes. And you know what? Kitty cat doesn't have eyes. So I put on some eyes for the kitty cat. And then I included some of these gem stickers I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I have these foam shapes. I got some spiders and a couple of skull heads. I also included some store products. So I have this cupcake liner and picks as well as this roll of stickers that I got both from Daiso. This is a stir stick that I got from Target. And so, in the next pocket, uh, I included one of these cards that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, it kind of fit with the theme of the paper that I used because I used like a candy inspired print. And so I thought this would fit perfectly with that. Um, I found these cellophane bags at Daiso and thought to include those and also from Daiso I found these really cute cookie cutters so she's in Ontario so there's no Daiso so I figured I picked some stuff up for her because um, she she can't get to a Daiso so and I included one of these cute jack-o-lantern picks I got from Dollar Tree also got one of these candy corn picks I got at Michael's so of course I had to create a wand this is smaller than the wands I usually create but still loving the way that it's turned out so I started with a foam piece on the back and then um, I created a I think it was a two inch rosette and I punched the edges with my Martha Stewart punch um, and then I laid a really thin spider web. I don't know if you can see here. There's a spider web behind the skull. And then I used one of those door hangers from the Dollar Tree and then trimmed it with some of this kind of tinsel garland I got at Dollar Tree. Um, I included one of the spiders from Michaels and the wood piece here the skull is also from Michaels and the bow I got from AliExpress 
Uh, funny thing, I didn't have a purple, so I used my alcohol marker on a white bow and I think it worked out beautifully. It looks like it was meant to be purple. And so here I have some of those flowers I got from AliExpress and then I included some of those little spiders I got from Dollarama last year. I created a big bow out of this spider web ribbon and then included one of those Dollar Tree spider rings. And the straw came from your dollar store with more. So like I said, a little bit smaller than I usually make, but um, I was afraid if I made anything bigger, it was gonna overpower the bag. So I decided to go with smaller. So I included some of these little um, brooms that I made uh, using some crepe paper and a paper straw. Show you one of them. So they just look like this. Super cute. I found the brown crepe paper at your dollar store with more. And the straw I think came from Dollarama. So I include I made four of those and I've included those into the bag. I included this paper pack that I got from Daiso and I topped it with uh, some doodlebug paper and a spider web kind of doily that I got from Tuesday morning and this fun jack-o-lantern I got from Walmart. And I just included the uh, Halloween design paper that they have. I know I've used this paper; it's super thin, but it's really cute, and they're actually really good for like doilies and things like that. So I included that. I made these embellishments, and I was inspired by um, the swap that Scrap Diva Twenty Nine received, and she received these embellishments from. Um, I'm not sure if it was her swap partner or if it was just somebody that sent her some gifts but she made these adorable beautiful feather rosettes and as soon as I saw them I knew I had to try them out so I love the way they turned out so I decided to make some for Tina and on top I just have this black and white striped paper I layered a piece of um, this spider web kind of mesh that you get at Dollar Tree. I think Dollar Tree? Yeah, Dollar Tree. And then uh, this cute ghost that kind of got ruined, so I'm going to have to replace him, um, that I got from Walmart. And some more doodle bug paper in the back. I included some of these fun glow in the dark stickers as well as this pack here that um, I just kind of put together with a topper. And um, I included another one of those feather rosettes and then I included one of those chipboard ghosts that you get at Target. And then in the back, um, I have another bag of embellishments. Here I made some of those double loop bows and made them Halloween-y <laughs> by using some of these resin pieces and stickers. And I love the way those have turned out. Okay, so here is the bag. And I initially started with that black quilted bag that I hauled from Dollarama. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I thought it was the perfect size. And so I covered it with this cute candy paper and this kind of plaid paper. Um, what I did is I actually used the... Um, the bottom part of the bag that's already folded up and just glued it down. That's why it's really shallow, like very little fits into it. But I thought that worked out pretty well. 
I decided to make a shaker pocket on the front here. And so what I did is I had this cut apart that says Happy Halloween and it has this cute, I don't know, skull girl um, in one of my paper packs. And so I used that as the backdrop. And then I had two of these, so I cut her out and popped her up on some foam so she is in front of the sequins. Here I made a cluster of flowers that I got from Michaels and this super cute green sequin spider that I got from Dollarama. I edged the top with some more of that star garland. And I love the way this has turned out. It's different. I never made a shaker pocket before. So. And then um, I initially had this garland, this really big kind of black and orange garland on the side. And I was not a big fan of the way that turned out. So I pulled it off and then it just left these little scragglies. And I thought that was that was actually just the perfect touch, so I left it alone. Um, here I made a collar, and then it would not stay down for the life of me. So I sewed it down, <laughs> and so the collar doesn't flip up. And then I just added some bling, and then this spider sequin here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I put one of these purple sequin bones you can bones bows you can get at AliExpress. So for the front, I wanted to make sure that the back of the bag was covered, but instead of gluing it down on the back, I decided to glue it in between the gussets so that it would actually create a second pocket. So that's what I did. I glued this piece here to this piece here and then I have whoops sorry I didn't mean to hit the camera I have two separate pockets in the back I had this really cute bag that I got from Dollar Tree and um, I cut out the little ghost and then cut out the sentiment and it made the perfect little pocket so I can hold some more embellishments so that's the bag, and then I created one of these um, paper folders. Uh, I have these in my planner. It's a little bit different size or in di different shape, but it's essentially the exact same concept. So I used some of this cute uh, spiderweb paper that I got at Michaels. This sticker is also from Michaels. So is the black spider, actually. And the ribbon here I got from Joanne. And this is just keeping it together. So let me open it up. So I created a little folder to, to hold some more little goodies. Um, so I have this washi of this uh, black jack-o'-lantern kind of die cut washi. I don't remember where I got this. I think it was Joanne. And love the way that's turned out. Then I had some ephemera pieces. These are from Pebbles. Um, some stickers that also came from Michaels. I think the tag here is also from Pebbles. And so I just created some small pockets. Um, here I created, or I didn't create, I cut out some bag toppers out of various Halloween papers. And that just slips in there. And then here I created some Halloween shoes. <laughs> so I'll show you what I mean by that. So here are some of the shoes that I created for her. So as you can see, I used purple and black and orange. Um, I also used some sequins in the middle to give it a little bit of decoration, I guess. So I cut out and pieced together some of those for her.
And that just fits into this pocket here. And then I just use this ribbon to keep it all together. Super cute, really love the way that's turned out. And then I created a card for her. Um, and this was super, super fun. So for those who've been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely love Greeting Farm and I will pretty much use any opportunity to use the stamps that I got. And so, I created a card using this stamp here. It's the Happy Birthday to You, Anya. It was the gift with purchase um, commemorating their 10 year anniversary. And she's super cute. She's got a little piece of cake. So I kind of altered her a little bit. And created this card here. So, as you can see, I made her a little bit more sinister looking. Um, I drew in her eyebrows. I gave her red eyes. I covered her hearts with this skull flat back that I got from Dollar Tree. I also um, got rid of that cardigan that she's wearing and just made a full dress. And then I had this bat nail sticker that I got from Dollarama. I love the way the cake has turned out. So I <laughs> kind of made it oozy with this kind of green slime. And then I drew in some of these millipedes coming, or this one millipede going in and out of the cake. I love it, it's so cool. So I made a shaker card and um, use this die here that I had in my stash and it's this beautiful spiderweb frame. I just cut it out a few times out of foam to pop it up. And then I had this sticker here of this ghost by Sticko that I got from Michaels and of course I added some bling. I layer the card a couple of times so the card base is purple and then I have this gold and orange diagonal stripe paper as the second layer or the first layer I guess and then on top I have this orange paper that I distressed with the Tim Holtz distress ink and lay that on top I absolutely love the way this has turned out this is the card that I'm actually writing to her so I can't show you the inside but love the way this has turned out also I made the envelope <laughs> This was the first time I was able to use my We Are Memory Keepers punch board and oh my goodness, love that little tool. Oh, it was so super easy and so accurate. Um, you know, you just need to measure the size of your card and then determine what size of paper you need to create your envelope. It is amazing. And I die cut out this bow that I had in my stash. I used another one of those skull flatbacks and then I wrote her name in these um, thickers. I think they're called? Yeah. And then ha I had these little black hearts I got from Tuesday morning and I just love the way this envelope turned out. So and that's what I created for her. So um I won't be posting this until I know for sure she's received it and that's kind of how I usually like to do my swaps just to be sure but um, I want to mention <laughs> Tina if you're watching you're gonna notice that the packaging is gonna be a little bit different because the wand's not gonna be in the bag it's gonna be outside the bag because it didn't fit in the box I got so just so you know um, even though I showed it in the bag it's not gonna be in the bag when you receive it so and that was my loaded bag. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And until my next video, have an awesome night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.